Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Recently, I got a new MacBook with M3 Pro processor with 36 gigabytes of RAM. I think people are interested in using MacBook to run Focus Stable Diffusion UI. So I will be doing it right here. If you are interested, please follow in my installation tutorial on the other video. I think uh, I included uh, the step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial there. One thing I want to mention is that if you have some issues with uh, running it, it's probably because of some package versions. Activate your focus env and make sure you run pip list it will show you all your installed uh, packages together with their versions so for example on my environment i have torch 2.3.0.dev You may run into issues. I think that might be due to the MP math package. So make sure that you have 1.3.0 installed. So if you have a file like a higher version, you may run into issues. So I show you how to resolve that. You want to install this particular version. So you're gonna need to pip install and dash R and uh, you will need to specify the version you want to install MP math equal equal 1.3.0 so in this case it will install this particular version yeah, I'll just show you one example all right so and you're gonna need to change directory to your focus directory so the entry point will be this one entry underscore with underscore update that's wrong yet So this is the RAM usage here. Okay, let's press enter to get started. Let's using advanced mode, we choose to generate one image using the default dimension let's uh, try the extreme speed to speed it up and let's look at uh, hamburger all right let's press uh, generate Let's pay attention to the progress bar in my terminal. Usually, it will be utilizing all your available RAM. So usually, like a higher RAM will speed things up. 
Okay, we see total time is 48 seconds to generate one image, which is not uh, too bad. So let's uh, generate another one. And we, we do see that uh, the GPU utilization is around the 99 to 100% right here. Okay, so 38 seconds, so it will be close to 30 seconds. If I close the majority of the application I'm running, for example, the web browser with many tabs, the Docker application, if I close those, I think that can save you some GPU time, like GPU space. So. Yeah, I suggest that you run with your MacBook to see like how fast it is. I'm really interested uh, to learn like uh, the speed difference among different uh, type of MacBook processor with different uh, size of RAM. Next, uh, I would like to select uh, the speed uh, mode here and the others keep the same. Um, let's, let's use the same prompt and uh, click Generate. So for the mode, it will requires the more steps, so 30 compared to the 8. So we see that uh, it took uh, around uh, 2 minutes and uh, 45 seconds for the 30 step uh, diffusion. Total time is 177 seconds and uh, the result looks quite nice. We see it uh, uses uh, around uh, 32 gigabytes of the RAM and the GPU history is around uh, 99 to 100%. I think overall the performance is uh, acceptable. I think it's definitely not uh, as fast as some of the NVIDIA GPU, but I think uh, it has like a larger VRAM than majority of the NVIDIA GPU. So I think, think overall, I think it is a quite nice uh, performance. I s hope that uh, you find this video useful and please uh, report your speed on the, my video comments. Thank you very much. Goodbye.